In this video, I'm going to describe how to uh, add pens using an L5K export file. So an L5K export file is uh, created through um, Studio 5000 or RS Logics, where you would do a file and save as and then choose the L5K uh, file type. That's just a text file. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like if you open up a, a L5K file. So it's the complete contents of the processor as a text file. So uh, that uh, allows uh, Stripchart V to import that file and we can start browsing it for uh, tags or tag groups. So let's do that. So I will choose Browse L5K. And then I'm going to go find an L5K file that I've created uh, already. So I double click that file and it imports the text file quite a large file, takes a few seconds. And now this shows the entire folder structure of the uh, PLC uh, data. Controller scope tags, program scope tags, and so on. So I'm looking at controller scope tags, uh, HMI analog array, and uh, just like browsing through an OPC server, I can drag and drop or I can double click. So I just added a couple of tags from uh, HMI Analog Array. I can go into Program Scope Tags and those are identified by a program uh, text. Yeah, here we go. So uh, let's take a look at Process Control and maybe uh, ASV command. Also I can um, look at any trends that might have been created in the uh, trending package in RS Logix or Studio 5000. So those are identified with this arrow in the folder. So there's a trend that had been set up for general troubleshooting and it has a few values in it. So in this case I'm just going to take this whole folder and drag it in. So now I've just uh, imported an entire RS trend setup. So that's pretty handy. You can also find uh, variables uh, if you want to. Uh, in this case there is no NGP. I better choose speed. So you can just uh, go through the file using this uh, find. And if it gets um, a little overwhelming, you can just collapse all and then you're back to the uh, original uh, root folder. So that is uh, using L5K files to uh, create a tag setup. Now the next thing I want to show is uh, using the auto map feature to convert a file from one um, PLC connection to another. So hopefully that will make sense once I uh, uh, demonstrate. So I open this file here that's been created for a job with a topic of Sham 2 and it's a certain uh, vintage of um, Solar Turbine's uh, control logic. And Solar, they use the file names in the task folders in the PLC for revision control. So these file names change from job to job. It's really unusual to find two projects that have the same folder names. So if I want to use this um, pretty comprehensive setup file for another project, I could manually go in and update all these um, uh, tag folders, but that's a lot of work. So I've created a utility to uh, auto map from one to another. And basically what it's going to do is look through the new topic, try and find this uh, base address, this AN underscore NGP in this case, and find it in some other folder that starts with fuel and then update this revision control to uh, reflect the correct uh, um, address to that tag. So the first step in doing this is point the file to a new topic. So what topics do I have available? Well, I can, I can show you. Um, I've got Sham 2 and Sham 4. And so Sham 4 has an offline setup with um, its uh, structure. So that's what it's going to use to uh, find the correct mapping to this new Sham 4 from Sham 2. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is point this to that topic sham 4. So I'll select all the tags by clicking in this upper left hand corner and then I'll type control H to bring up this find and replace dialog and I'm going to replace sham 2 with sham 4. Replace all. So now it, all the pens are pointing to this new topic. And again, it's not going to work because the folder uh, revision control names are all wrong. So then we go to Tools, Auto Map RS Links Tags, and it's working right now. So it finished, and it shows you tags that were remapped. So you can see the change in the name of the folder to reflect the new path in that Sham 4 PLC but some were not found so this uh, gas pilot set point it just could not find that uh, tag variable so it gives you an NA item not found a few others uh, also fit that category what happened here well uh, there's been some naming change in these variables so these really just don't exist in the um, the content of that CHAM4 PLC so it showed you which ones it had success and fails with. The, one it, the ones it failed with, it uh, turned off the activization, so uh, it wouldn't try to scan a pen that doesn't exist. So what we do in this case, we would then browse that sham 4 and look for let's collapse all and look for a pilot set point pen. So that might be in the fuel routine and we might be able to find it in here somewhere. Uh, there's some pilot stuff but uh, yeah here we go. So now we've just uh, converted it to a, a new pen that uh, actually exists in Sham 4. But that's basically all I wanted to show in this video.